Hello everyone. Today we are going to see differential equations reducible to linear form. For this, let's have a look on some differential equation. Here we can observe that we can't separate the variables. We can't separate the variable x and y, so that this is not a variable separable form. And all these differential equation cannot be homogeneous differential equations. Also. This differential equation is not of linear form, and also we can say that this differential equation is not a Bernoulli's form, since here we don't have factor this x raised to n or y raised to n, right? Here we can check that here we have one thing common that means here we have functions this sine, cos, right? We can check that here we have trigonometric functions. Or exponential functions or logarithmic functions. Here, when we have functions, consider if we have functions f of y, we can adjust its derivative. This f dash of y here. Such differential equation is of special form. So here we have to discuss this form of this differential equation so that we can find the solutions of this differential equations. So here we have. This form, this differential equation of this form, yes. When we have this is f dash of y dy by dx plus p f of y is equals to q, where this p and q are functions of x variable. Such type of differential equations are reducible to linear differential equation, so that we can find its solution. So how to reduce that is in linear form? What we have to do, we have to substitute f of y as another variable, so that by differentiating this with respect to x, we will get this value f dash of y dy by dx is equals to du by dx. So putting this both value in this form, we will have. This form of differential equation, and that is linear in variable u, right? Here we have in this form here we have this p and q. These are the functions of x variable, right? So when we put f of y as a another variable u, we have to take this differentiation with respect to x, right? Okay, so. We will get new differential equation, which is in variable x and u, and this differential equation is linear in u variable. Here, u is the dependent variable. Similarly, when we have differential equation of this form, yes, we have f dash of x into dx by dy plus p. Into f of x is equals to q, where p and q are a functions of y variable, right? So we have to transform this differential equation in linear form. So how what we have to do here? We have to put this f of x as another variable. f of x is equals to u, so that now we will get this value. This is by differentiating. With respect to y, so that we will have this f dash of x dx by dy is equals to this du by dy. So by putting these values, we will get. So we got here this linear differential equation, which is linear in u, right? And where this p and q, these are the functions of this y variable. Yes. So all these differential equations are of this special form, and we have to reduce that all these differential equations in linear form. So we will see some examples here. Now we have to find the solution of this given differential equations. So first we will simplify this equation here. Yes, we have written this equation in this form. 
yes where this p and q these are the functions of x here yes here we can check that here we have this derivative term sin y into dy by dx so that here we have to put this cos y as another variable right so we will put cos y as a u so now differentiating with respect to x we will get this value so here we have so by putting this in equation 1 we will have we have to put cos y as a u yes so now by multiplying by minus sign here we will get now we can check that this is a linear differential equation which is linear in u right yes this is in linear in u so that its solution is dependent variable into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into if integration with respect to x here and this integration constant c because this p and q these are the functions of x variable right so first here we will find if so what is if this is integration of p with respect to x right so this is p and this is here q so what is here p we will put so on solving this cos x integration this is sin x so this is the value of if now we have to put this if in this equation so that we can simplify q is this cos x into sin square x and if this is e raised to 2 sin x this is integration with respect to x yes now we have to solve this integral so yes here we have e raised to 2 sin x that means we have to put this sin x as another variable so we will put here this sin x is equals to t so that we will have this differentiating we will have this is cos of x dx is equals to dt right so we will put this values here sin square x we will get this is as a t square and this is e raised to twice t and this cos x and cos x dx is equals to here dt yes now we have to solve this integral and we can check that we can solve this integral by using generalized rule of integration by part and this is first we have algebraic and then exponential so we can apply here generalized rule of integration by part so here we have now we have to simplify this one this is integration constant c here we will take e raised to twice t outside so that here we have now we know what is t t is here the sin x so we will put t is equals to sin x here and again what is the value of u we have this cos y is equals to u so that we will put u is a this is cos y and this remaining as it is yes and this is the required solution if we want we can simplify this is here we can we can cancel out this e raised to 2 sin x so that we will have here c into e raised to minus 2 sin x right so this is the required solution for this given differential equation similarly we will solve one next example yes now here we have to solve this differential equation 
we have to separate the terms here so for this we will write this is dx by dy is equals to e raised to twice x plus y square upon y cube yes so that we have dx by dy yes now we have separate the terms here so yes here we have exponential e raised to twice x so when we divide this e raised to twice x we will get this differential equation of this form yes where p and q these are the functions of y variable right and we can adjust derivative term so we will see how to adjust here derivative so what will be here what will we do here this divide by e raised to twice x so we will have yes now we can check that here we have this is a function and this is its derivative right so what will we do here we will put e raised to minus 2x as another variable this is u so differentiating with respect to y we will get this term so so we need the value of this one so minus 1 by 2 get shifted here so we will have this is minus 1 by putting this value here we will have yes e raised to minus 2x as a u and this is 1 upon y q we will multiply this is by minus 1 by 2 so that this is in standard form and in standard form of linear differential equation we need the coefficients of this derivative term 1 that must be equal to 1 so we will multiply this is by minus 2 yes this is the linear differential equation in variable in u right u is the dependent variable so now we can write its solution its solution is given by u is a dependent variable so dependent variable u into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into i f this integration with respect to y because this another variable is y here plus integration constant c so yes this is the value of p and this is the q here so we will find integrating factor so we will put here p p is this 2 by y so on solving this we have integration of 1 upon y this is log y so we will get this is log of y square on simplification we will get integrating factor as a y square now we will put this y square here so equation 2 implies simplification of this we have this is y yes so what is its integration so this is minus 2 into 1 upon y integration this is log y so we got here so what is u u is here this is e raised to minus 2x we have put this e raised to minus 2x as a u so we will put here now we will shift this term here yes so if you want we can simplify this is again this is by log rule here we have yes so this is the required solution so in this way we have find the solution of this differential equation so here we have yes all this differential equation we have to reduce in linear form we have solved this two differential equation now we can check that this remaining differential equation we have can solve by substitution 
and here all this remaining differential equation we can reduce in linear form so that we can find its solution. So that's it for now. Thank you.